you guys, Beth Pizzati here, and I just realized it's always sunny is on really loud in the background. Um, I leave the TV on for the dog when I leave because it makes him less upset. Anyways, um, I haven't turned it off yet. I just got home a little bit ago, but I wanted to jump on and do a mini haul. Um, it is Sinful Colors because I love Sinful Colors. They're really good polishes, and they're really cheap. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're cruelty-free, unless I... Excuse me, unless I totally miss something, but I'm pretty sure they're cruelty free. Um, I'll check for sure and put it in the down bar below um, because now I'm not so sure. But I picked up three colors, well, two colors and then something else today. Um, the first thing I picked up is called Mint Apple, and it's this color, and it's almost a Tiffany's blue. And I've really been wanting a Tiffany's blue, and this one's a little bit shimmery, whereas usually Tiffany's blue colors are matte. Um, I don't know if it's quite a Tiffany's blue because things will look, teal is a weird color for me. I think I might have a little bit of, um, like an interpretation issue, like color blindness with teals, um, because things will look very, very green or blue. And then when I see them next to like a true blue or a true green, I'm like, oh, that's not at all what I thought it was. So this may not be Tiffany's blue at all, but I saw this and I loved the color. So I got it. Um, and then there was also... I'm so pumped about this. I actually already posted about this on Mad Styles page. This is called You Just Wait. And it's not showing up on here, but it has a green duochrome interference. So right now you're seeing the soft, like, baby pink color it is. And then it has a green duochrome. Just like my, like, new absolute favorite pink shadow from Mad Styles called Seedless. So if you guys are in love with Seedless... Go get this, because this is exactly like the nail polish version of Seedless. I love Seedless for my eyes, for my lips, and now for my nails. Um, I know some people mix pigments with nail polish um, to paint their nails. I don't know how to do that. Um, I'm not that crafty, so this is a good alternative for me. <laughs> um, it matches really, really well, though. So um, I'm going to put this on my nails and then swatch Seedless and then put them together for a photo so you guys can see it. Um, but I'm super pumped about that. And then the last thing I got, I'm super pumped about, um, because I wasn't sure about it, and then I came home and I read a review before I used it in case I needed to return it. And the first review that pops up is, um, oh, what is her, her face, or her YouTube name? I know her real name. Jowja Dogs. That's her YouTube name. Jowja Dogs has a blog review of the Quick Dry Top Coat from Sinful Colors. And I was so pumped because it was the first one that popped up and I freaking love her. So I was like, ah, no way. So yeah, I'm excited. Pretty sure her YouTube name is Judge Dogs. Now I'm doubting myself. Anyways, I will link out to her blog below. And then once I confirm the YouTube name, I'll link out to that too. Um, but yeah, so that is what I got today. Nothing major. Um, do you guys want to see like a nail polish collection tour? It's not that great. A lot of it's just the color black because uh, of Johnny Boy. But if you guys want to see it, I'd be happy to show it to you guys. Um, it's not really organized either. It's kind of just in a basket in the bathroom. So, yeah. Okay. I'm rambling now, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Oh, I guess I should show you guys in case you're curious. Um, what I have on right now is on the, these color nails, I'm wearing an OPI polish from the Goth Collection that Jess sent me. Um, I don't remember the individual color names, and they're not on the bottle anywhere. So I'll have to look it up. But this is like the deep blood red one. And then I put the hard candy mattifying top coat on it. Um, it looks dirty because John got black in it. And that is what the nails that are that color are. Did you see how fast that chipped? It's ridiculous. I just did these yesterday. Um, and then for the reddish nails, I put on Dolce & Gabbana's Perfection. Which is like an off-white cream color. It's really pretty. With the Sally Hansen Crackle Overcoat Cherry Smash. Um, John bought this, so I usurped a little for my nails. Because I was like, well, I want to try that. So, yeah. Um, for those of you who are curious, the Sally Hansen Crackles are obviously not vegan. And they're not cruelty-free because Sally Hansen tests on animals. Um, I will look into that for you. Because I know... I believe, sorry, I don't know. I believe that China Glaze does not test on animals. Um, they have crackle. Let me look into that. I'll put that in the down bar below, or I'll make a separate video, because I know a lot of you guys are very interested in the crackle trend, and for those of you who are cruelty-free, that could be important to know which ones actually are um, cruelty-free, so you guys can get them. Um, yeah.
So I will talk to you guys soon. Those are the colors that I have. Again, sorry that I'm saying this like twice. And I'm going to go paint my nails.